Why, hello there. Greetings, and welcome back to a small let's play of a game called Gat and Saiban. Phoenix Wright is attorney. I'm Emily, the Spargoborn Princess. Who's the buddy here? Getting his nails done. Or something. Yep. And not screaming in pain this time. Good. <clears throat> Very good. Alright, let's I think see. I present something to him. The what is the question? <clears throat> if I'm fired, I won't be able to give you any information. So that's why I have to get <clears throat> it out, all out of my system now. You understand, don't <clears throat> you? That was a negative, detective. We do want you to share your information, though. Oh, who am I fooling? I've never had anything useful to share to begin with. You speak lies. Ah, got to stay positive. Alright. That's what she was reading before, isn't it? You know when we first came in? You know when we first came in here? Yeah, it looks like the right side of the form has been torn off. So I said just just really what's only half of the whole thing. Something else is bugging me more than that. Take a look at that the back of the form, pal. The back? We've done that and we know. Let's see okay. uh now I guess now we have to. Uh Okay. I mean, we're, I mean, it's not like Gakuten. It's not like uh, Dai Gakuten Saiban, where you actually need to look at things in certain order. So I don't. But okay. It's just it, it's the same it thing. It's I'll, the same uh, thing. Same you thing. you, ha you don't have to look at okay. anything closely. Uh, all right, all right then. I guess maybe he uh, got your conversation topic. We already sh sh done that. There's only these two. So, what the heck, yeah, where the heck did that, yeah, I guess so, I don't think there's anything else we can show him, we need to, hmm. what do we need to do, we need to find, oh, I know, I know, I know, uh, hints, I know, I know. Uh, no, do, no, do, do, you remember, do you remember, did you remember, like, what was on that piece of leather, a handprint, wait, do we okay, have a different, do we have four handprints, do we have, uh, no, what, what, what do we have for handprints, this, no, no, what do, we, what do you have special that is for handprints? Oh, right. Detective Gummy, I'd like you to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is. So you want to take some fingerprints? <clears throat> That's a good idea, Detective. And then where are the Alright, don't let it down. Sheesh. I was wondering where that was. Like, we don't have it in our inventory, so I was like, okay. He still has it. <clears throat> I guess. What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Go ahead, take my fingerprints. <laughs> He's like a puppy. Uh... Um, it's not like your fingerprints I want to take. Ah. Come on, this isn't the time for jokes! We're talking about that cloth we took, but that we found the safe. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. The one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh. Where is that sense of humor? <laughs> you goof. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Sprinkle the powder on the cloth. Then, <coughs> if it absorbed into prints, blow the rest away. What are you, my mom? I don't have to be told a million times. Alright, let's get this over with. Okay, what was the button that I signed? Oh, I'll figure it out. Let's select which finger right, to examine. To... <clears throat> we'll see, uh, this one is the uh, clearest. Index finger or the middle finger, maybe? This one is the clearest, though, I think. Yeah. Got it all covered up. Oh, I glad that's in the window. Why are you barking while, while, you're, while you're lying down? Because it's a goof. 
Poof. Poof. Okay, so it's not this prince. So huh. maybe the middle middle of finger? The car is all won't be able to give the watching prince, will it? But it doesn't look like we'll get a clear result from this prince. Okay, let's try a different thing in that. That is pretty clear. Turn everything white. There we go. Yeah, it's clear. Compare. Let's let's have a look. Um, but what is that? Mm, okay, we actually have the chance. It's nope. not Gant. Okay. It's going. not him. Not Jake. You, you you don't you don't have to like exit out. Of... Um. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? Yep. <clears throat> I want to check specific people, so. No. Th this can't be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing in here? Hey, you found a match? You're saying your friends were they? Ah! Oh, uh, it seems the prints are too old. We don't know. We really have no idea what the context of this print is, so w why are you so afraid? They aren't clear enough to get a match. Oh, that's too bad. That'd be dark prints. Psst, hey, you. Over here. What's going on here? He Why actually the heck the prince doing inside this chief safe? Stop asking me! Why now? Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Hmm, why now? <clears throat> here, maybe you should hold on to this. <clears throat> Interesting. I wish you touched it. Well, that was he was from. Well, was I have any help? Mm. Of course. Thanks to your ID card, mm. we were able to get mm. some hard evidence. That must be Gant. Aye, that's not very kind, is it? In mm. other words, it would, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. Isn't that right? You and the codes. Ah! <laughs> Chief God! We didn't think you'd be back so soon. I, mm -hmm. mm. fortunately, I am a man who believes in signs. <coughs> I was mm. walking to my meeting. I happened to look out the window and saw a stray dog run right into a pole. <coughs> Just then, I thought of a certain detective. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you mean me, sir? Aye. Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. <clears throat> yes, sir. Sorry. Oh, you in the court. Me, sir! <clears throat> Ah, yes, you. Drop your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. That's very ca casual. But, sir! There goes now get evil out. Gant. Yeah, 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 sir! His true colors come to light. We'll be on our way too, then. Ah, wait, you, the one without the spiky hair. With the spiky, oh, with you without the spiky, okay, right, I I'm sure that. What do you want with Emma? Yet. What do you want with Emma? Me, uh, sir? I'd like to have a word with you. Sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. 
Ah, I and you with the spiky hair. You are free to go. Why is he forgotten his name? That's right. Ah, uh, okay, bye, Emma. Well, well, that's troublesome. <laughs> there. Black pal, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. The chainsaw is off limits. But no, you just have to go sneak in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you're fired. Yeah, but if I knew, I'd, it'd be like this. I never would have said it. Uh, now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gaunt was hiding in his office, I think I'm finally, finally starting to get the picture. <clears throat> as guilty I have. It's hard to believe anyone would keep quiet about it all this time. Anyway, you listening to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. Mm, good luck with that. After that, I heard from Emma. Mm -hmm. She said the police want to ask her some questions. So she'll be busy mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. I guess she's gonna be a new client, probably, because she's, uh... Either a client or a witness. Well, probably both, because what we all three collectively did is technically a crime. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over these past couple of days is absolutely nothing. Not a single useful thing. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. Who is it you're hiding behind? Who it is you're hiding behind those words? I can see it too. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. It seems Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick headed was the term he used, I believe. That's my chance to get her to tell mm. me the rest of the story. Alright. <laughs> okay. I got to tell. I got to get Lana to tell me everything she's hiding. Mister Wright, you're evolving by leaps and bounds. I'm starting to see the hunger in your eyes. Okay. Nice to know that nothing's going to be relevant, probably. I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. <clears throat> you insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. <clears throat> It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No. I think uh, afraid of is more like it. <clears throat> if not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who, may I ask, is this person you are speaking of? The one I am supposedly so frightened of? What is this person's name? That was quick. Of course. Well, Miss Guy? Mm. Mr. Wright, you are addressing the Chief Prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill all the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about the circumstances? We were partners until a few years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he <laughs> try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgy will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. 
Specifically, hiding and forging evidence. Of course. These are serious off offenses. Why is it though that Chief Gaunt's mm. name was never mentioned? Chief Gaunt? Edgy didn't know the truth behind the forgery. Can't Mella. <clears throat> the only party who could have po who could have possible po really the only party who could have possibly investigated possible. yeah possible possibly, possibly not possible yeah typos yeah. <laughs> just noticed that okay yeah that, that's what that's why I stopped <laughs> the only party who who, have who could have possibly investigated that, that evidence was me I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also one other, Damon Gaunt. If you intend to accuse Chief Gaunt, it'll be more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gaunt was falsified. Chief Gaunt falsified evidence in that case. And we know that because, uh. uh evidence list, I guess? Or, I yeah. Um. Uh, oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, Wait. Uh, hold, yeah, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would say Jar. the Jar then, maybe? Yeah, because he was hiding the thing in it. I just found this in a safe in the Chief's office. This Jar, and this Jar piece, and this strip of cloth. Hmm, I'd like. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. I... <sighs> the person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gaunt himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Touché, Mr. Wright. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders, even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Well, perhaps I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of the Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it in the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. Just that gave me chills. Wait, why? The style, the cut to those words. <laughs> Despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edward's car. The trunk was broken. I discovered that murder weapon. I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edward's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. <clears throat> huh? That's why the it's bloody in now. Incident. Zero killer Joe Dark's knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him. I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. That would be Edgy's knife? Out of context, that sounds really strange, but... I couldn't have that knife in him, so I stabbed him with another one. That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that's the reason for the bandage on your right hand? Yes. It seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Um... Hmm. Here's a question. How yeah? do you How do you cut the pad that is holding the knife? I 
think she might have been fidgeting with it. In the other hand. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> Could have just been a mistake, but she could have been, you know, trying to figure out which hand she should use and then accidentally sliced it and then sh shifted it over to the other hand. Because you don't want. I would think that if you like cut yourself up, I would think that, uh, that if you cut yourself up uh, in one hand, you'd automatically use the other one because it'd be less less painful as heck. Maybe she, in her in, in the heat of moment, thought that I don't want to accidentally stab the same hand to make it worse. So I'm using this one instead. I don't know. I don't want you align. Um, you can't hear me right. You can't hear me right now. But I'm face bombing. <laughs> no one is rational in this situation, Ruda. The, the, the reason why I bring this up is because I remember reading in another manga someone bringing up the same thing. Except in this case, except uh, in that case, it was just, you know, using a cutting knife, a kitchen knife, to like slice vegetables. And somehow she manages to cut she, she manages to cut the hand that was holding the knife. And like, it was not given an explanation. Like, it was okay. played off as comedy. I see. Anyway, Miss Star. Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? <clears throat> Bridget, how straightforward this is. It took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever, ever want it to be open again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So you hid Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective used. was evidence in the Joe Dark case. I work it out, which it would. The reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped that knife in your scarf and hit it. In Edgy's exhaust pipe. Right. And I call my sister. To tell her what happened. And to ask her to hide a knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone in the force to know about this. Now that's explain why Emma was so confident. About Lala's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to pat Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? Why else would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade on his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting to case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. <clears throat> okay, so he stole the uh, ID card before... Um... Yeah, apparently. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so... If I'm understanding this correctly... You stole it uh, before he'd, he'd doing it. Oh, he stole the, um, if I got the timeline right, he stole the ID card, uh, Goodman got murdered somewhere, then, uh, Lana, uh, was seen, uh, stabbing Goodman in the, in the prosecutor's parking lot. But I th I thought we established that the stabbings happened at the same time. Hmm? Oh. Nope. That's what they thought, remember? Okay, 
Right. Oh well. Watch out. After my phone call, any remaining doubts here? I must. You had. It must have disappeared. Watch out. When I say when I say stab, I meant like stab a stab a dead body. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. So you used the phone call. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room. That was uh, an exclamation mark uh, followed by a question mark, by the way. Yep. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana... You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright. Both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now, please. Thanks. Don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial. There's only one way to drive off Lana's demon. And I've got to get to the bottom of everything. And beat the real enemy. Detective Goodman's real murderer. I'm experiencing lag, Captain. Am I a captain? See, there you go. And what and what went down at the chief's office two years ago? To be continued. <gasps> oh, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, that's uh, legend slash. Okay. Yeah, it's taking a sweet time trying to load, isn't it? Or what do you mean? To, like uh, type that entire thing out. It's not. Oh, let's go. It is. This is the, this is the defendant's lobby, all right, but there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It's almost as if. Edgy. Okay, something's been happening behind the scenes. Good raid. Yeah, I called it. Okay. Edgy! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 7790 number is? Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. <clears throat> you know. The only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling on the defendant. Five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. <clears throat> but she didn't do it! I figured you said as much. That's why I came here. Do you hear what you have to say? This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Mm. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today is the last day of the trial. Why don't we don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. Uh, uh. If she's found guilty, you lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? Huh. Well, this is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief God has on her, it's now. Hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is what the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Uh huh. But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Chief got. He disappears, apparates into existence. 
<laughs> Sounds about right. Hi, morning, folks. How's everyone been doing? AOG, been back to the pool yet? <laughs> no, I've, I've been trying to get as it is in my work. Okay, so what, what, from what I'm drawing, what I'm drawing from this is that he can't swim, and Gan keeps making him go to the pool, and every time he's just moments away from drowning, and Gan's just laughing heartily about it, like, "Come on, you can do it. You're gonna get so strong abdominal muscles eventually." <laughs> well, it's, well, <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny. <laughs> Ah, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what it is <laughs> proposal of yours? And no, I will not go with you to the pool. I, well, that's too bad. Anyway, Lana, that is to say, I, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Hmm. So he wants to do what? So he tells me that's not how it is. I having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. What's this all about, defendant? I just like to make one simple request. And I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor. Your Honor. I'd like you... Uh, I'd like you to put... Mm. 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 Articulation. Uh, your Honor. I, well, what? Uh, uh, yeah. Hello. I'm hearing Emmy noises. Yeah, I know you're hearing Emmy noises. Can I please get on with my line now? Your Honor. Sally. I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, no Lana! Objection! Objection! Shut up! You can't! <coughs> Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. But Lana! Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. But it has sufficiently proven its case with testimony and circumstantial evidence. No? No? It's circumstantial? Because it hasn't been linked. And it's... Uh, I know confessions matter a lot, but no. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. <sighs> well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, though the this is an unprecedented situation. It, it, appear, it appears there is no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening! Am I going to slap you, sister? It appears the time is when the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Oh no, it's Edward who's going to. One moment, you honor. But, but, Mr. Edward? The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Ali ruling at this stage would be certainly be premature. I come now, worthy. <coughs> I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut? Hmm? <laughs> I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Uh. With this sudden confession from the defendant, 
It's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Ah, some kind of deal, hmm? Aye, not everyone operates as you do, worthy. <laughs> I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Who? To who? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. I request the court hears her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Guy. Uh, the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecutor's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Kent? What are they? You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Well, that's not ominous at all. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Edgy has decided to take on the whore, take the horse on by the reins. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma. I'm a sky. Uh, my occupation? I'm Atlanta's little sister. I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark killings. Okay, just hold on a second. Okay. No, you weren't. No striking things. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Uh, Mr. Edward, please remember, this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Well, okay then! <laughs> <laughs> this is a casual staring contest. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. Mm -hmm. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Two years ago. I was laying in my sister's office that day. That came around again. It took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. <laughs> the man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mrs. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth. What does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. <laughs> Smooth. You've got embarrassed courage, considering he has no evidence and he's bluffing, he's bluffing through his teeth. Shut up, Mr. Wright. I'm only taking a leaf out of your book, and it seems to have served uh, you well all these years. Edgy, are you reading my mail now, again? Don't worry about it. I understand yes, I you. I not worry about it. You're not Maya! <laughs> Miss Faye has no reason to share the same connection, regardless. Now let's get on with the trial. Spirit medium. Very well, the defense may begin its cross examination. <laughs> Spirit mediums do not exist. Hold everything. Even though I already know which one's the correct, which was, which is the one mm. that we have to. Um, okay. Um, I didn't. Okay, I need to analyze it. Sorry. Um, I, I, I it immediately. 
Okay, cool. Let's see. Yeah, she's like. Yeah, I have no idea what. She, I have no idea what Brad said. She was sucking in Kumar because the chief that had got under chief get uh, something language. My sister. <laughs> she was the best detective ever. Who is this? Hey, baby. Chief detective got the this guy used to be quite the pair. I believe they share in the same office. That's right. I don't want to sit at my sister's desk. I dream about playing the door again. I wanted to play it that day too. The police department and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Not I promised to take me to dinner after she finished her work. Make him running and took me hostage. Blah blah blah. Uh, man? <laughs> yes. Joe Doc. He was a... serial killer. Joe Doc was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get to anything from him that would lead to an arrest. But he saw his chance he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Doc proceeded to take the elevator. <sighs> He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. Okay, I know uh, that feeling. Also, pause right here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But no, like no, 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 not, not what I meant. Like pause right here because I have like. What? It's a, it's, it's a, it's about Joe Dark. So I got, so uh, I guess this could be part of the episode as well. I mean, yeah. Are you, are you trying to okay, yeah, skip? No spoilers. No, no, it's not spoiling anything. It's just like my thoughts on like. Uh, if Joe Dark actually is a serial killer. Yeah, no, we, we already covered, we already talked about that before. The possibility that someone framed yes. him and this is his only legitimate murder. If even that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, also, the pro the problem is, like, uh, I would I would think that a cold and calculating guy would not be stupid enough to make that kind of mistake on an elevator. Um, well... His supposed killings after the accident doesn't really seem all like all the calculating, but okay. Oh well. Um. I mean, considering that, considering that, like he uh, kept repeatedly covering up each crime over and over, I would think that he'd like grow to be a bit, a bit more methodical. In, in any sense, if you were a businessman, I guess uh, depending on which line of work he'd be under, he could be you know more intelligent. You know. I, I see. Guess I'll cut this cut us out though. Darn it! Darn it! Gosh dang it, Emmy. What? What? <laughs> I was I was thinking about I was uh, yeah I was thinking about including this part in the uh, in the episode, but okay. Not sure. Um, I could do that. Then he ran into Sky and Gan's office. There's a lot of noise coming from outside, so I opened up the door to have a look. That's what I saw. Yeah. But... Okay, so Emma accidentally lets the Amen. lets him into the office. Yeah. yeah. What was the prosecutor doing there? On that day, there were two people present during Dark's questioning: the Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Okay. Uh, Gant was there too. Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I assume that would be. I assume that would also be why he was the first to run after Dark. When Dark grabbed me, I, I thought I was good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in? I. I don't quite remember what happened then, but. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped to dark, just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on, a lightning struck nearby. So, the electricity went out? Wait a minute. It is pitch black in that room. You sure didn't be able to see anything, right? 
Right, but just then, lightning flashed again outside. The sound of flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. That was important. Detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. It was a charge of the case, as we know. Detective Bruce Goodman. Kimo. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes, this was so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the witches wouldn't come out. That's why he drew a picture. Uh-huh. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Red, have you heard enough? Um, more. sure. Let's t let's just, just make her feel bad. For good reasons. This picture the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Witness, would you mind hmm. if we added this statement to your testimony? Uh, yes, you are. Wrong answer, by the way. <laughs> would you mind? Yes. Yes, you would? Nice uh, job. Language. Uh, uh, yes, yes, you do mind, or yes, you don't mind. I'm confused. <laughs> You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? The way you said that makes it sound, it sound like you're calling her right. Yes, I wanted to do that. <laughs> yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now. Why have I closed my eyes? That's strange. I took up the case after the prosecutor marshal died, yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it! I swear! I'm just imagining it! Hmm, this picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should take a take. I should guess we should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. The scene that imprinted an image of your mind. Can you please describe it to us? Not bad. Fine. The bizarre of a stab is immersion in the zest. That must have been a real shot. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Tell us, what were you doing at that moment? I believe you testified that Joe Dark was holding you hostage. A light struck and the lights went out. As the marshal jumped on Dark, I was thrown aside and the two began wrestling each other. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. Emma doesn't have any reason to lie. But Lana sure does. I thought... I need to get uh, Gamma to tell me as... Hmm? Okay, so this, I'm just saying to her, I was waiting for my sister. Okay, that's the start. I'm making everything to me. I'm not much of a skin. I do picture that. So this has been lost, but... Okay, you've noticed the contradiction, right? Well, here... Uh, I can't see which, which statement. I drew a yeah, picture I've seen once. Uh, no. I guess, uh, let's see, that's not a contradiction. It's not a contradiction, but, okay. but it's, um, the way to proceed. Let's see. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth. This girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And you still insist on denying its, denying its existence? What is this angle you going with? Uh, huh? Hey, I'm not a bad guy. What What are you on about, right? What is What is so important about this da this damnable picture that she drew as a child? It's important because it's evidence in the case. But you're arguing that it has some sort of other significant issue here. All I'm saying is that as a prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. You think I hate children? Just because I look like this? Just because I'm a prosecutor who, who hounds down 
to criminals at every turn. I love children. Do you know that about me, Bryce? Uh, uh, Emma, Emma, maybe you should stay away from him. <laughs> Go on. That may well be Susa. Oh, okay, sorry. No, I said I I just replaced it with in any case. Okay. Uh, Emmy. Yeah, okay. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold. Is this the evidence list for the Bessel Lord incident? Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it over! Ah, what's this? Yes, what, what is that? That it is, is, that is most concerning, to be perfectly frank. Hey, that's it. That's the picture I drew. I like ice too. You did. Tim and I appear to be wrestling here. And they have really big hands. What's the meaning of this? What are, what are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh. This list, they're, they're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you had to, that you were headed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in the case was has ever reached you. What? What? Who uh, <laughs> thought the picture would have been drawn at the back of the illness? Ah, uh, my neck. That's how that's a Dr. Gilbert, no questioning, bro. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor! Oh, you're right, Mr. Wright. Your eyes are bulging from your head! Uh, do you need a moment? I think... There, I have some medicine with me. Not right now, Emma! You if sure? If this list was torn in half... Are you, are you sure? I, I, I don't... I don't have medical okay, experts, but the, 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 the symptoms are kind of... Emma. Okay. Alright. Emma, 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 if you keep this up, I'm going to send you the gods again. Anyway. There might be more of, of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Uh. Yes, it's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> is... Is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? Sorry, Your Honor. There is something drawn on the back of my list. This is that thing. <laughs> and, and he only just noticed. <laughs> Apparently, I am not used to looking over things from different angles. It's if only I continue not doing so. The thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Apparently, the hand of criminal affairs uses for his blueprint. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Uh. <laughs> well with this. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. Are you satisfied about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Uh, oh, yes, sir. You are there. 
What's wrong with Emma? <clears throat> she seems to be thinking yeah, about something when she yeah, saw the picture. Interesting. Okay. All right, then I have to like break off over here and have to head to work. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's a good place to stop. We should meet again, and not again, perhaps. Until then, humans, fairies, and yokai. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and we'll catch y'all later.